synthesis reactions are one of the basic fundamental types of chemical reactions and they involve a single element reacting with a second single element to make a brand new compound. In general terms, we say element A plus element B produces compound AB. Here we have 1.75 grams of iron, which is a gray metal and it's magnetic. Our second element is going to be one gram of sulfur, which is a yellow nonmetal that is not magnetic. We're going to react these two together to make iron sulfide inside of this test tube. So the first thing I need to do is mix these up thoroughly. There's no reaction happening yet. We're just making a heterogeneous mixture. And in fact, if you wanted to, you could separate it back out into its two individual elements. In order to get the reaction to begin, we're going to hold it in the burner for about 45 seconds. And you'll be able to tell as the iron sulfide is beginning to form because there'll be a color change. To retrieve the product, we're going to have to take that hot test tube and plunge it into a beaker of cold water, which will shatter the test tube, and then we can scoop the product out. Can you see the color change beginning? We're forming iron sulfide. I'm going to keep heating for just a few more seconds to make sure we've got fully completed product. Okay, we're going to go to the beaker of water in three, two, one. Now we should be able to remove the iron sulfide. Now you can see the iron sulfide is not magnetic anymore and it's not yellow either. It doesn't have the properties of iron or sulfur because we've had a chemical change. Iron sulfide is a brand new product with its own set of properties. This was a synthesis reaction.